Slovenia has beautiful landscapes, so you are in for a treat. Most of Slovenia is actually mountainous, and the lake itself has a beautiful color because it is a glacial lake. And Ljubljana seems like such a fun and cute little town to visit. I'm Kamina, I make travel and geography related videos and I want to focus on the good in every country. Today we're zooming in on... Slovenia! Yes, Slovenia, a small country with lots of contents. I seek to find the most correct information about Slovenia. Now, I'm not an expert. Sometimes I make mistakes. You are welcome to let me know so that this video will be as correct as possible. Now, let's zoom in. Slovenia is a country in Central Europe, bordering Austria, Hungary, Croatia and Italy, as well as a shore coastline to the Adriatic Sea in the Gulf of Trieste. At first sight, you might think that Slovenia has a pretty smooth border, but it is not that simple. There is a border dispute with Croatia, here close to the sea. There is not a clear agreement of where the border goes. Also, there are some interesting border shapes to be found here, like here, here, and here. Wow! The northernmost point lies here, bordering Hungary. The easternmost point lies here, close to the tripoint border with Hungary and Croatia. The southernmost point lies inland, bordering Croatia. And the westernmost point lies here, bordering Italy. Slovenia is a small country. It comes on number 150 in area, just smaller than Israel and just bigger than Fiji. Wow, I would have thought that Fiji was much smaller than Slovenia. With a little more than 2 million people, Slovenia comes on number 144 in population, making the population density 103 people per square kilometer and coming on number 80 in population density. Now, the data for life expectancy. In 1960, life expectancy was 68.7 years. In 2015, life expectancy had risen to 80.7 years and it seems to keep rising. So, where do all these long living people live? The capital and biggest city is Ljubljana. Oh, that's hard to pronounce. If you know how to pronounce this, you can comment and help me. Other big cities are Maribor and Celje. The official language of Slovenia is Slovenian. Some other languages spoken are Italian and Hungarian. Slovenia in Slovenian is Slovenia and means land of the Slavs. Now we'll zoom in on the capital Ljubljana. Okay, so here is Ljubljana. Oh, that's fascinating. There are many mountains around, but closer to the city there's lots of arable land and a soccer field right there. There is a river going through the city, Ljubljanica. Ljubljanski Grad, maybe that's a castle? Yeah, a castle. A cathedral, that's a bridge. And a big park, a big park here too. Oh, there are so many places we can go to here. What do I want to see first? I'm gonna try to go here. Whoa, look at this. This is so much fun, a market. A flower market. Beautiful and colorful flowers. Lots of people here looking for the perfect flower. Maybe they aren't only flowers. Maybe they sell other things here too. That guy's on his bike. Here are plants. Ooh, and big trees. Oh, there's lots of life in this city. I like it. Talking about flowers. Okay, strong start for Ljubljana. That was so much fun to see. Okay, well this castle looks really interesting. Let's see if we can get a view from it here. Oh wow, so this is the view from the castle. And here we can look straight into the city. Yeah, I love viewpoints. I like going up a hill. Whoa. I like going up a hill and uh, exploring and seeing the city. Here we're walking on the castle wall. Yeah, and this is the castle with a big clock. It is three o'clock. I wonder how old this is. Well, that was fun to see. I want to take one more look and see how people live in Ljubljana. So I'm just going to try here and look at what that looks like. Yeah, so we're outside of the city center and here are some houses made out of rocks. 
We're in the streets. We have some parked cars. Is that the flag of the European Union? Looks like it. Yeah, and a building could be a school. I'm not sure. Yeah, so this is how people live in the capital city of Slovenia. Some more houses here. Okay, great. Slovenia has beautiful landscapes, so you are in for a treat. This map shows the topography of Slovenia. Slovenia's lowlands are to be found at the peninsula Istria, close to the sea, as well as on the Pannonian plain to the east and northeast. This plain also stretches all over Hungary and northern Serbia. But most of Slovenia is actually mountainous. About 90% of Slovenia's area lies above 200 meters in elevation. Here are some pictures. Slovenia is gorgeous. In the west, we can find the Karst Plateau, and the characteristics are limestone, underground rivers, caves, and gorges. The most mountainous areas, however, are to be found in the north, closer to the Alps. We have the Pohoria Mountains, mostly forested. We have the Karavanke mountain range, with the highest points of over 2,200 meters. But the highest point of Slovenia is found in the Julian Alps. It was also the highest point of Yugoslavia when that used to be a country. The highest point is called Triglav, lying at an elevation of 2,864 meters, or 9,396 feet. Rivers. Many mountains, many rivers. Slovenia has a large river network. One major river is the Sava. It has its origins from the mountains in northern Slovenia, crosses the whole country, enters Croatia, making the border with Bosnia, and streams into Serbia, where it joins the Danube River, eventually streaming out into the Black Sea. Another river is the Socha. It has its origins in the Julian Alps, streams southwards, enters Italy at Gorizia, and streaming out into the Adriatic Sea. I found some pictures here, isn't it beautiful? Lakes. Many lakes in Slovenia come from glaciers, and one of the largest glacial lakes is Lake Bled. It lies in the Julian Alps in the north, and this is a popular tourist destination. You can probably see why. The surroundings are beautiful, with woods around and an island with a church on it. You can get there by boats, and the lake itself has a beautiful color because it is a glacial lake. The color from these kinds of lakes come from clay particles that come from underneath the glaciers. Another lake is called Wild Lake, or Divje Jezero, and it is a little hidden in Google Earth, but in maps you can see it. What is special about this lake is that it is really deep. It lies in the Karst Plateau and water flows from under the ground. Let's do random street view. Oh, there are so many places we can go to here. I just want to try and be really random, so I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna go there. Okay, we are on a hill with grass and purple flowers. <laughs> and is that a tent? Someone put their tent up here. Looks like a perfectly good tent site, by the way. Some kind of vehicle. Let's look around. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. Tiny little wooden house and a hammock. This is really cool. And a horse. Lots of grass. Yeah, sleeping with a view. This is great. It was just really random and then you land in such a beautiful place. Thanks to Robert Jan van der Borden. Okay, I want to try one more place and this time I want to see the sea. Because Slovenia has a coastline. Yeah, I'm just gonna try here and I hope to see the sea. Okay, here we are. This looks like a restaurant. These chairs look really comfortable, by the way. And here is the sea. We're pretty close to Italy right now. There are some stairs going into the sea. A little road here, some more restaurants. Here is the chef to welcome you. Pizzeria, grill, spaghetteria. Hey, this is, is it Italian? No, not all of it. Fine del mondo. I think that is Italian. Yellowish buildings, big rocks. He's doing something to his shoe. And the little tower, the Slovenian coast. Opposite side time. I put my ruler in the capital city, Ljubljana, move it for 20,000 kilometers around the globe, and we land in the Pacific Ocean. The nearest land is Pitt Island, part of New Zealand. It is not hard to travel to Slovenia, at least if you're already in Europe. You may enter Slovenia by car, bus, train, and by plane. 
and land at the international airport near Ljubljana. And Ljubljana seems like such a fun and cute little town to visit. It is small, so it is easy to just wander around and explore. Popular sites are President Square, a circular square where many streets meet and where people meet too. From there, you can cross the triple bridge that crosses the river Ljubljanica. And another cool bridge is Dragon Bridge, where you can see real dragon statues. This looks like such a fun city. I should really travel here when I get the opportunity. It isn't that far away. Okay, so it was fun to see more of the city Ljubljana. Now let's travel north towards the mountains. And the next destination is only an hour away. We're going to Vintkar Gorge. But on the way there, we passed Lake Bled. So we should make a stop there too and see this beautiful lake. Okay, Vintkar Gorge or Soteska Vintkar. We can park the car here and start walking along this trail. This is a gorge, a valley along the Radovna River. And for 1.6 kilometers, you can walk on boardwalks. So it is easy to see the river. This is a great way to see some of Slovenia's beauty. And it is suitable for the whole family. Well, maybe hold on to your small kids. It is probably not that fun to fall into this, well, beautiful river. Now we have seen a city, we have seen a river, and now it is time to see some mountains. The Julian Alps. Drive here only an hour from the gorge to Vrzic Pass. Park your car and here in Google Maps you can see there are many, many trails to follow here. Here are some pictures I found in Street View. Whoa, beautiful! Slovenia is a small country, not among the most popular countries to visit in Europe, but that is not because of the lack of attractions there, because Slovenia has so much to offer. Cute towns, mountain change, rivers, deep lakes, and dragons on a bridge. These were some geographical facts on Slovenia. Next time we're gonna stay in Central Europe to Slovakia, and we're zooming out. Thank you for watching, guys.